no rush hour no traffic signals no school buses ferrying kids or trucks unloading cargo while indians sat in their homes under lockdown a big change happened on the empty roads something you couldn't even see on the 1st of april 2020 cars and two wheelers had shifted gears directly from bs4 to bs6 emission standards leaving automobile dealers who still had old unsold stock staring at an inventory of 700000 two wheelers 15000 passenger cars and 7000 commercial bs4 norms compliant vehicles valued at around 6400 crore or 900 million dollars dealers had been ready with huge discounts and freebies for the year end sale which normally happens in the lead up to 31st march when people rush to buy new cars so as to avail of depreciation benefits The Federation of Automotive Dealers Association (FADA) sought an extension from the Supreme Court of 30 days to sell and register unsold stock of BS4 vehicles, which was one of the first matters to be heard by judges during video conferencing during lockdown, but were unsuccessful. You know about this deadline for three years. We can't give you another extension, but you may sell and register with RTO 10% of unsold BS4 compliant inventory within 10 days of the lockdown getting over. because there is no ban on selling of second hand bs4 vehicles even after the ban to beat the court imposed deadline some dealers bought their own unsold stock in their own or their friends names themselves paying an additional 1.3 lakh rupees on road tax and insurance that otherwise the buyer would have had to pay to register a brand new bs4 mahindra bolero then losing more when the vehicle will be sold as second hand even though for all practical purposes it was brand new Dealers of companies who had already migrated early to BS6 norms had no such worries. By February 2020 end, Tata and Daimler had zero stock of old vehicles left, while Maruti Suzuki, Hyundai, Kia, Toyota, Tata and Mahindra and MG Motors had already sold decent quantities of BS6 models well before lockdown. Companies that kept manufacturing BS4 vehicles till February are now struggling. It demonstrates scant respect for the law or for the environment. Bajaj is not wrong. Out of the 10 most polluted cities in the world, 6 are Indian. India adopted a fuel upgradation program in the early 1990s with baby steps. First with petrol cars, then diesel, then introducing low lead petrol and catalytic converters that reduce emissions of carbon monoxide and hydrocarbon. From 2000, it gradually adopted Euro stage standards. The major difference between BS4 and BS6 is the reduction in the presence of sulfur emissions in petrol cars from 50 parts per million to 10. There are different standards for diesel cars where BS6 engines reduce the harmful NOx nitrogen oxide gas by nearly 70% and bring down cancer causing particulate matter like PM2.5 and PM10 in diesel cars by almost 80%. But green energy doesn't come cheap. For this switch over oil refineries in India have spent 35000 crores 4.5 billion dollars to upgrade plants fit to produce ultra low sulfur fuel This investment is on top of the 60000 crore 10 billion dollars they have already spent on refinery upgrades in previous switch overs Car manufacturers also need to spend on engine upgradation and accessories like selective catalyst reduction onboard diagnostics and real driving emissions so as to process the low sulfur fuel and become bs6 compliant this upgrade in the internal combustion engine of petrol cars has caused an increase in prices of 10 to 15000 rupees in maruti swift and ertiga but in diesel vehicles the cost of upgrading is steeper because of the different technologies used petrol engines need just a spark to start the car while diesel engines rely on pressure from heavily compressed air Maruti's Baleno is up by almost a lakh and Mahindra's Scorpio about 80000 rupees. With these new emission norms, many companies have lost their prime selling diesel brands. Of 86 diesel models, 42 will be discontinued, which is why probably Volkswagen, the world's largest automaker, had for several years cheated on emission tests and continued to sell old models instead of spending money upgrading to Euro norms. Unfortunately, coronavirus has hit the already struggling auto industry so hard that for the first time ever in history, zero sales were recorded for the month of April 2020. The unsold stock of BS4 vehicles will now be exported to neighboring countries in Africa where emission and safety standards are not as high. But with plants shut and production stopped, the sector may stare at more than 2 billion dollar in losses. 
the EU is already working on Euro 7 norms, which targets just 95 grams of carbon dioxide emissions per kilometer by 2021. Indian consumers have still not warmed up to the concept of electric vehicles, which produce zero direct emissions. Buying just 1,300 electric cars from a total of almost 2.8 million passenger vehicles sold in 2019 20. 513 Mahindra e Vertigo, 491 Tata Tigor, and 280 Hyundai Kona. One major reason is that India is a very price sensitive market, and few will pay double the price as an IC engine car just for environmental reasons. But neither has the government done anything to set up infrastructure like charging stations or provided sufficient benefits to buyers of the more expensive electric vehicles in the form of additional depreciation or reduced taxes. No surprise then that global companies like Tesla, BMW, Hyundai, Honda and Kia are not even targeting the Indian market. However, India has admirably kept pace with the world by complying with emission standards and will drive along with them to the next target of net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. Bizbo's Limerick India has banned sale of new BS4 cars, but dealers waited till the final hours. Stuck with unsolds with what was once gold will now have to be sold as second-hand cars. Subscribe to Bizbo and click on the bell icon to get notified whenever Bizbo releases a new video. Sources of all our information is listed in the video description section.